Yeah, I'm checking out my data plate on my space heater. It says 12.5 amps, 1500 watts, 120 volts. I'm just giving this thing a safety check. I used it the other night and the plug got hot. Not real hot, but hot that it scares me because I never noticed it getting hot before. So I'm going to run a test and check everything out. See if it's okay. Got an amp clamp. I'm setting it in the amp position. I had to separate my wires on my cord. Because with an amp clamp, you can only put one wire at a time inside the clamp. Or your readings won't work or won't be accurate. Plug it in. Let me test my heater. First I go to the low position. See how many amps it's eating up. Go to low, I'm reading 4.95 amps. That's good. Go to medium. I'm reading 7.63 amps. That's looking good. Now we'll go to high. That's both low and medium turned on at the same time. And I'm reading 12.45. So this heater right now is within specs. You never can tell though. As it heats up, it might change. And you might have to let it run for a while. Till it changes. But I don't like that plug getting hot like that. The heater is pretty old. So I think I'm just going to put it in the garbage. It isn't worth the 20 or $30 these things cost. To have a fire hazard or have somebody get shocked. Some people might tell you I'm shaking the wires to see if I can get an intermittent reading, but everything seems tight. I'd say the connector on the outside is the connector is deteriorating. This little heater puts out 15 or uses 1500 watts also, and this connector never gets hot. So I'm just checking it out with the fan. I'm reading point one nine amps in the high position I got it on high right now it reads 13.7 this is all within specs for this heater and this plug never gets warm so I think that other heater has just gotten too old and needs to go into garbage I could try changing out the plug but it's not worth it also might want to check your circuit breaker panel Make sure your circuit breakers have the right rating to operate that heater. You also want to make sure your blades and your prong are nice and clean. No arcing and sparking. These little holes on your plug. Make sure they're clean and no distortion. Inside your plug, there's little dimples that when you slide your plug in, those little dimples slide into those holes and seat the plug and help hold it in better but if you're heating up like that just make sure your plug looks all right make sure your wiring's all in there nice and secure your terminal nuts or terminal screws are good and tight you might get a professional out here i don't want to see anybody shocking themselves electricity is highly dangerous make sure somebody just didn't stick the wire in these little holes because that doesn't really give you a good connection it'll work for for lightweight items but don't ever do that yeah well, i hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something but uh thanks for watching and be careful them space heaters can be dangerous have a good day thanks for watching